Hello, welcome to the uh, Delhi Smart Home Fair. We're obviously here with Zen Control. Zen Control is interested in doing our Dali 2 and Dali lighting control system. The big difference between what we are doing and other providers is that we're looking at working with open standards. That means that we get that cross manufacturer compatibility and you're not tied to a single vendor. We're really interested in making buildings sustainable over a long period of time. And the building industry is moving from refits every couple of years instead to buildings that we might want to use over a 10, 15, 20 year period. So at Zen Control, we're looking at providing those type of technologies so you continue to adapt and use these spaces, right? We can continue to evolve and service these areas to make sure they continue to meet the needs, to continue to have that circularity in the environment. So what we're really looking at here is how can we make lights more intelligent? How can we start to integrate different components of your smart building? And how can we then sort of leverage cloud technologies, AI, to generate that data and instruct better configuration of our buildings, achieve greater power savings, and make spaces that are more comfortable for our people and uh, humans to live in, right? So we've got a number of different products on display here today. We have some of our control interfaces, and these are sort of how people are looking at interacting with the system, right? So we've got the options of, say, the touch screen, where we've got multiple rooms, multiple areas, we have over in the back here, yeah, selections, both in the sort of UK styles, local colours, different sort of size and shapes. We've also pride ourselves in having solutions across various size and shapes of buildings. We have solutions that go all the way from sort of two or three lights, right, with the standalone controls, cost competitive with your old sort of legacy rotary dimming, all the way up to systems where you might have 40,000 luminaires, right, all connected on a single IP base. Um, and again, so that means depending, regardless of what sort of lighting control you're looking to achieve, we've got options to help make your buildings more smart, help you have a better user experience. Over here, we've got our sensor range, right? So in these products here, we've got options both of your microwave, your PIR sensors, and we can do this both on a standalone basis, so that's like 240 volt control using your IR remote. We've then got the options of doing things like app-based control and configuration, your DALI outputs, and with our DALI, we can integrate things like our relay, right? So in a single location, you've got that occupancy detection, control of your luminaires, and then also accessories. For example, a exhaust fan or a fixed load, right? We then move into the wireless. In the wireless space, we use the open thread. And so that's a great IPv6, low powered mesh. And we are carrying the DALI signals. We use a standard called IEC 62386104. And this means that we've got the first true open protocol interoperability wireless lighting control, right? So again, anybody can go use that standard, make a product that's compatible with our system. And that's really exciting. Now look, buildings are more than just light, right? And we want to make sure that as we are starting to bring in these different components, whether it's fan control, motor control, curtains, power monitoring, that we're starting to integrate with the other systems in your building as well. So we've got options for monitoring power. We've got options for controlling your fans. And then over this backbone TCP IP network, we can then integrate with your other building services. So we've got things like your BACnet IP, you've got things like your MQTT for streaming the data, right? For actually getting this information out. We've also got direct integrations with a lot of our common AV systems. So you control for your AMX, your Crestrons, your RTIs, right? You don't need additional hardware. You can directly go from those platforms into the Zen Control products, right? So finally, we've got some of our automatic control. And we'll sneak back over this way here. The great thing about your automatic control is providing solutions for areas that don't have integration services. One of the problems that people had with early digital lighting systems was how do we maintain that system? Because if they don't have a local technical skill, you would find they could replace a light and they had to wait. They had to wait for some call-out fee, had to wait for an integrator, and until that point happened, 
the light was 100% on or 100% off. Now, a lot of our markets around the world, we're using these sort of systems in, for example, schools and universities, local government offices, places that they've got the ability to replace the light themselves, but don't have that sort of technical expertise to reprogram it. So when we're using our room controller, you can simply connect in each of your lights, your switch, your sensor, and power it on within 15 minutes. It's gonna automatically bring all of those devices in. It will address them, you press the button, and the lights will turn on and off. And that's great, right? It saves a lot of time in the actual installation, but it's also really important for the through life maintenance because say in five years time, you replace that light, you simply unplug the old one, plug a new one in, it's gonna group it and set it up. And that brings us to the last key pillar of the Zen Control System, and that's our cloud connected monitoring and maintenance. So when we have this system, let's say in five years time, the light has failed, we've put a new light in, and the new one's a little bit brighter than the old parts that you had. Well, traditionally, you're going to have to send out a integrator and make a configuration. When you're using the Zen Control Cloud, you can simply log on to our network from wherever you are in the world, make those configurations, and get your system up and running. It's really great also for maintaining and monitoring your system. You've got the ability to log in to each of the sites you're looking after look at faults and when you find an issue you've got the information you know where the light is you know what has failed so when you're planning your maintenance call you can turn up to site prepared with the information make that change and have no second visit right so it makes it more cost effective you can manage more buildings and again we can provide better solutions for our customers thanks again guys great to be here great to see good things happening at the smart home fair